So why is the Zika virus, which most of us hadn't even heard of a few days ago, spreading so fast? How was it carried from Africa to the Americas? And more importantly, how can it be controlled? As our science editor Tom Clark reports, at the moment there are still many more questions than answers. Compared to many viruses spread by mosquitoes, Zika was believed to be very mild. Until South America, particularly Brazil, realised it was facing a new and very urgent public health crisis. The surge in microcephaly, almost certainly linked to the virus, has left experts racing to understand why. And also, what can be done to protect lives now the epidemic is well underway. The virus has been around for a long time, since the 40s, uh, but it was perceived by everybody as a virus of no public health importance. Uh, there were just cir local circulation and then a few outbreaks, but no se severe cases and, and no microcephaly. So uh, we had no idea that this could cause this, such a severe congenital infection until September, October. The experts think no one saw Zika coming because there simply hadn't been a big enough outbreak to reveal the link between the virus and microcephaly. The virus first emerged in 1947 in the Zika forest in Uganda. Over the next 50 years, it caused sporadic outbreaks in Africa and further east to Pakistan, Malaysia and Indonesia. Then in 2007, it was identified in Micronesia. A few years later, it reached French Polynesia before jumping to Easter Island and finally Brazil and most of Latin America. So why an epidemic now? It's possible the virus itself has mutated, or movement of people has hastened its spread, or its vector, the mosquito, is more prevalent. Fueling Brazil's Zika virus epidemic are these little guys, the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Now, if you could control these, you could control the outbreak, but the problem for authorities in Brazil is these mosquitoes can breed in the tiniest puddles of water, from a roof guttering to a discarded car tire. They're the perfect urban mosquito. Authorities in South America are making every effort to control the insect, but this won't be enough to contain an outbreak which presents such a huge risk to pregnant women. The best hope is that people become immune to the virus and transmission gradually stops, while work on a vaccine can get underway. But it's a race against time. The best scenario is that it fizzles out before we get to that stage. There'll be natural immunity, it will come and go within the population. Let's hope so. It's a mild disease in most people, but it seems to be catastrophic in pregnancy. But what we need to do as a research community is, is try and get research done within that window, and that's the challenge. The World Health Organization today recognized the severity of Zika. The explosive spread of Zika virus to new geographical areas with little population immunity is another cause for concern. But with the WHO's failure to react fast to the Ebola outbreak, Zika is being seen as a test of its abilities. Clinical trials on Zika vaccines and drugs will have to happen while the epidemic is underway. The size of Brazil's outbreak and its highly mobile population means Zika is very likely to spread further. But despite some reports, there's no compelling evidence of person-to-person -person transmission. So it will most likely remain confined to the tropics where these mosquitoes can thrive.